I'm in the building. <laughs> It is your girl, Boss Evans here, and I'm back again with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Become a part of the gang. And if you are a returning subscriber, you know I already love you and I fucks with you. You feel me? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I really be chatting on Twitter sometimes, and I be dropping gems on Twitter, okay? You know, you know, like salt baby dropping salt, I be dropping gems on Twitter. Twitter. so make sure you guys go follow me check me out tell a friend to tell a friend it's always good to pass knowledge and a bad bitch on oh so today guys um we're about to get into a very interesting story time i'm about to tell you guys about the time that a bum ass stupid ass hoe ass nigga motherfucking robbed me let me get it together so I'm going to be telling you guys about my story time of when my ex robbed me. Like this nigga robbed me. Okay, this shit was fucking crazy. So let's get straight into it. So like about, I would say two, two and a half years ago, I was with this dude, right? And a lot of my friends know who he is already. A lot of my friends know this story. So I was with this dude. And just to give you a quick background, I met him, I think, um, I was a manager for a security company. And I was out getting supplies and I went to Target and he was the security guard there. And I had just gotten out of a very long relationship. Well, not just, but it would have been like a couple of months. And I was telling my best friend, I was there with, at the store with my best friend. And I was sitting here telling her like, yo, like the next nigga I meet, like I need him to be on point. I need him in a suit and tie. I need him tall. You feel me? And I turned and I looked down the, the aisle of Target. And there go this six two tall chocolate man, clean cut. I was like, Jesus, is this you answering my prayers? Like, this is too fast lord anyone that knows me like i'm a very honest and bold person like if i want you i'm gonna bag you you feel me so i went to go bag him or whatever <clears throat> i went spoke to him chopped it up a little bit and from talking to him i heard an accent so i was just like are you haitian and he was just like yeah he's haitian cool whatever so fast forward a couple of months we're dating we're talking or whatever and the relationship i was i was not feeling him no more like, I'm not even going to front. I was not feeling him anymore. I was not feeling it. I was just like, I think I was with him just a couple of months and I was just not feeling it. So we were going through our little arguing stage or whatever the case may be. So um, in the process, I'm going to give you guys the full backstory so you can understand everything. So while we were together, um, I wanted to get an iPhone. So I went to the store to get an iPhone. So if you're putting, like, if you want to buy your iPhone and you just want to put down a certain amount and you want to pay the rest off, you had to put down a credit card. So I had to answer certain security questions about myself. And I'm not even going to lie, I was lit that day. So the security questions, I think I got one of them wrong. So they were like, oh, you can't, the guy was like, you can't use yours. So he was just like, oh, let me, you know, like put it on my card or whatever the case may be. And just give me the money and pay it off. Cool. So we're going through our little issue or whatever the case may be. And he, um, at this point we were broken up. Like, we were not together anymore. And I think he wanted to come and see my niece. Or he had to drop something off at my house that day that he had for me. Something of that sort. some Something like that. So, he came to my house to drop it off or whatever. So, he was in my room. And I, at this time, my niece was younger. So, I went in the bathroom to, like, give her a bath or whatever. And then after I gave her a bath, you know, um, I came, I went you know made sure she was dressed or whatever the case may be and then I came back in my room so after that he was just like he had a whole attitude that day when he came to my house so he was just like he's just gonna leave like he's gonna go home or whatever the case may be cool so he left and he went home so after that day like we were communicating and we were talking and we were honestly getting back to a good page where we could possibly and potentially be together again so you know whatever so 
we're working on things and you know i'm speaking to him every day da, 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 whatever the case may be so then one day i noticed that like a few charges were on my card like I, I like randomly i i do these things like randomly i would sign into my account and just look at my transaction history to be like damn bitch like you ate a lot of food this week like what is wrong with you so i randomly signed into my account so you like you know just look at my transaction history so i'm looking and i'm like t-mobile i don't have t-mobile then i see another charge so both of the charges i think came up to like almost three or four hundred dollars so i'm like what is this like what the hell is going on so i called my bank i filed a dispute i was like these are this is not me like i don't know who these charges are like i don't know what the hell is going on i had to file a whole police investigation like because i really wanted to know like who was using my card so later on that day after everything happened i went to go and like we were on the phone so i'm telling him like yo somebody charged my car like somebody really used my credit like i don't think was it my credit card i can't remember if it was my credit card or not but i was just like somebody really used my car like i'm about to file a whole police investigation i'm about to file a whole investigation because i need to know what's going on da -da -da -da, whatever the case may be cool bang he's like oh my god da -da -da -da, this is crazy blah 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 whatever two weeks later i feel like the spongebob nigga two weeks later two just two weeks you know just two weeks i get a phone call from him i was i at work i was at work i get a phone call from him and you know at this point we're still good like we're getting back on a good page we're talking we're going out on dates like i really feel like yo we're getting back to a really really good place like you feel me whatever the case may be so he calls me and he was just like yo like i have something to tell you like i have something to tell you and it's really bad and you might be upset with me honestly i thought he was about to tell me he, he fucked somebody else honestly I would have accepted him telling me that he fucked somebody else over stealing my money so he tells me oh remember the whole situation with your card i'm like yeah he was just like it was me he was like that day that i came over to your house to drop the stuff off when you went in your bathroom with your niece i took a picture of your card the front of your card and the back of your card and when i got home he paid his t-mobile phone bill and he paid his two credit card bills i'm like you can't be serious i said i was about to say his name i said you cannot be serious like you really can't be serious. like i was honestly more in shock than mad and he's like yeah like my credit card bank called me and said that you filed the investigation and now it's fraud on my account like it's a fraud on my credit account now like can you call your bank and lift that because like the whole investigation is filed against me and like it's gonna be really really bad for like i'm about to go through a lot of shit i said nigga i, I had to get close guys i'm sorry i said nigga you sat here and heard me tell you that I'm about to file a whole investigation. You sat here and heard me say that. You didn't think before I tell you this. You didn't think to be like, you know what? She about to file this investigation. I paid my credit card with this thing. Let me go and tell she it's me. So she don't have to file the whole investigation. You didn't think to do that. So now that your card is under fraud now that your credit has fraud on it now you want to call me to tell me to tell my bank that it's okay and i know who it is i said no that's your karma and you're gonna have to sit there and fucking deal with that shit so man and i had to ask him i was just like why did you do that because any one of my friends know me anyone that i've dated if you need something and i have it you got it it doesn't matter i could have the last hundred dollars in my bank account and my friend could call me like yo i really need a hundred dollars to do something i will give it to you that's the type of person i am if i really fuck with you and i really love you that's the type of person i am i'm going to do that for you so i was just like why did you do that his excuse was 
we were at a bad place and honestly that day that I came to your house I was not expecting for us to work things out I was not expecting for us to sit here and like be back on a good page he said so instead of me meeting back up with you to get the payment to pay off your phone I thought maybe if I paid my phone bill and my credit card bill when it was time for you to give me the money for your phone bill, I was going to be like, nah, I don't need it because I already paid my T-Mobile bill and I already paid this bill with your card, so I don't need the money no more. I'm like, okay, that's all fine, cool, and dandy. When you got home, even if you did that, you could have told me that's what you did. Like, where is your... Yo, I swear niggas are dumb. I'm like, where is your logic? Now you have a whole fraud on your account, bro. Like... What is good with you? Like, are you okay? Yo, I really think he had a few screws loose. I'm not even going for it. Like, I really feel... My best friend just texted me. I really feel like he had a few screws loose. Like, because I was just like, bro, what? So, yeah, guys. After that, we didn't speak for a while. And then we talked, like, just here and there. Like, I had him on Instagram. He's a whole model now. I would speak to him here and there and then I think he comments on my picture or I comment on his picture on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and then um my friend had asked me some information about a company that he works for so I'm like okay cool you know let me go and you know hit him up to find out the information this nigga got me blocked I said what did I do like we just spoke a couple of weeks ago but he has a whole new girlfriend now and I'm pretty sure that when I left that comment under his picture she asked who it was and he said this is my ex and she got intimidated and he probably blocked me I mean ugh, look at me who wouldn't be intimidated by me like <laughs> come on oh so, yeah guys that's the time um that my ex scammed me and honestly like I wasn't even mad at that situation I was just laughing because I'm like bro like you have a whole fraud on your account now <laughs> like you have fraud on your account now like you're so dumb but <clears throat> Thank you guys for listening to me chat and ramble and talk. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it and I love you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can get a hit up every single time I post a story time or a review video. Stay tuned. I got some really, really cool stuff to review for you guys. I have some really cute things that I got for the fall and winter. I'm about to go on vacation so I ordered a whole lot of stuff. I can't wait till you guys see it. Thank you guys so much again. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.